Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dornbaker Freestyle Air Jordan 5 Low. Every year we typically get a collaboration between Nike and the Dornbaker Children's Hospital and they select kids each year to give them the opportunity to create their own shoe. Especially with the hospital being here in my hometown, I have always had love for this collection, literally each and every single model. But you guys know, I'm a Jordan head especially, so when it comes to releases like this in particular, I gotta have them. Oh yeah, and that's right, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. On this channel, I love breaking down sneakers like this, giving you in-depth reviews and comparisons. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the fam. We're very close to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So with all that being said, I'm gonna crack this box open and then we'll talk about the history of this shoe and how this became what it is today. Starting with the box, you have your classic Dornbecker Nike Freestyle box. All baby blue with the lift off lid. And then you got the same hits right here on some ends of the box. On the front end, it reads Dornbecker on the top of the lid. And then on the size tag, it says Air Jordan 5 Retro Low DB, Hyper Royal Orange, size 13, just for me. And retail on these things were 200 bucks. I got really lucky and I hit for these on Sneakers app. When it comes to the Dornbecker collection in particular, I'm not a huge fan of paying resale on that shoe, which is again, a whole nother topic we can get into someday. But for now, let's just keep it on the positive side and start talking about this sneaker lifting open the lid of the box typically we get right into the shoe but as you can see right here on the top of the lid it says free to be happy Michael Wilson age 11 diagnosed Crabbe disease Air Jordan 5 retro low and then it has a brief paragraph about him and another paragraph over here giving you information about the hospital dornbeckerfreestyle.org I'll make sure I have links for you guys down below as well to the children's hospital and then again I'll speak about it in a second but there's a video that kind of breaks down the story even more about Michael so I will show you guys some of those clips here in this video but again I'll make sure I have everything linked for you guys down below now looking at the paper you got the Dornbecker freestyle all over print in silver a little sticker right here to hold the paper together and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe now when it comes to sneakers specifically from the Dornbecker collection literally every single inch of this shoe is gonna be inspired by something and this is where I want to roll the clips for you guys from the video that I found online and I'll make sure that I have the link for you guys down below for the entire video but I feel like this video just explains it the best and I want to make sure that all the facts and everything are correct let's just roll the footage and I'll see you in a second. Michael is a very happy boy since the very day he was born. I like to play video games, read, do math, play with my dogs. I like to eat mac and cheese. My name is Michael and I'm 11 years old. I have been going to Dorn Becker for 11 years. Crabbe's disease is degenerative. It's a rare disease. It affects the entire nervous system. The progression of the disease causes nerve pain. You lose your ability to eat, your ability to move, your ability to function. When I was selected to become a freestyle designer, I was like, hold up, but I'm doing it. It was really fun working with my design team. They're like really cool people. I designed the Air Jordan 5 Retro Low. I picked all those colors because they're just my favorite colors. They were just really fun. This, I drew myself. I designed a long sleeve sweatshirt. My team designed a patch that says Mac Attack Squadron on it. I'm just really excited for it to come out. I go to Dornbecker every six months for a checkup. I have to take my medication every morning. I want to be a pilot just seeing the world from way above. So like I said, that was a brief condensed version. If you want to see the entire video, I'll make sure I have it linked down below in the description for you guys. But that gives you guys a gist of this sneaker. His inspirations behind mac and cheese and how he loves to fly and how he wants to be a pilot flying over the cities and his own drawings and how he created these colorways, mixing it up with different things like that with drawing on the shoe. I really love the inspiration behind that and the storytelling and how they're always able to allow the kid to be as creative as possible. And then at the end of the day, really create that sneaker. So now that you know a little bit more about Dornbecker and Michael, let's start really breaking down the details and the materials and everything that come along with this shoe. Starting with the bottom of the foot, you have your classic Air Jordan branding right here in the center with the all white. Then you got your translucent iced out sections in the front and back end of the shoe. Now going up to the midsole, you got an all white paint right here with the red shark teeth on the front. And then inside the foot, you have an orange air unit. Now going to the upper, this shoe is covered in a bunch of different colors of suede. 
but essentially all the panels are mainly suede on this shoe. You got mac and cheese noodles kind of embossed right here on the toe of the foot where the blue area is, and then the back end around the collar of the foot as well. You got the red on the toe cap, the orange in the middle of the foot, and then the greens in the back end. And again, I'm sure you guys saw the design process earlier when it showed him drawing on the sneakers and kind of creating his own color pattern for this shoe. Now looking at the hang tag right here, you have a pull to eject tab in black and orange. And that again pays more homage to his love for flying and everything like that. So when you see the hang tag or the pull tab on the back end right here, that is the same exact thing that you'll see on both ends of the shoe. Now going to the heel of the foot, you have take flight which again makes so much sense when it comes to flying and it's kind of cool because you got that kind of jordan 4 flight on the air jordan 5 when it comes to the branding of the jordan 4 so i really like that element and then on the back end of the foot right here on the heel you have a red jump man and then you have mdw which those are michael's initials and that definitely makes another good touch on the shoe so when it comes to the front end of the shoe you got a metal mac and cheese right here on both feet and then you got your classic air jordan 5 bib lace lock at the top end of the shoe this is kind of like a reddish orange kind of matching with that orange on the side of the foot and then on the tongue this is another cool element as well it looks like just a normal all black tongue, but actually this entire section is like a Velcro area. So you can take the different patches that come along with the sneaker and put them on the tongue and really ice it out and kind of customize it in your own way based off of whichever style you like the most. These come standard with a pair of blue laces and on the end of the lace tips, it's kind of got a rainbow print right here. And then on the green laces, it has that same rainbow print as well. So you got that lime green vibe that kind of matches with the back end or you got the royal blue vibe that matches more with the front end. Now behind the tongue right here, it says Air Michael on both tongues. You can see the print kind of got that all over funky print to it. And if you look really close at the details on the sock liner, you can see that it says take flight as well within that kind of mixed errors. Either way, I love the uniqueness between the sock liners because initially they kind of look the same. And then when you start to really look at the details behind the shoes, you're like, oh, they are different. They got different little symbols and representations between these two sneakers. Now looking at the insoles, you got an all yellow insole. And then like we saw earlier with the tongue, you got the skull on fire right here on the left foot and then you got the Jumpman branding on the right foot. Now, typically when it comes to an Air Jordan Dornbecker collaboration, we have seen almost every single number below 13 or 14 at 15 at, sheesh, below 15. So one through 15, we've seen almost every single number. I know there's a lot of anticipation behind the Air Jordan 11 and we have seen the Air Jordan 5 before. This is a model that has come out the high top version, but this is a low top version. So I think that's what kind of gave Jordan Brands like, you know what? We can still do the low top we haven't done the low top yet but i don't know what it is they're just holding back on that jordan 11 i don't know if it's going to be some type of anniversary thing or what's going on or if they're never going to do the jordan 11 but anyways my bad i was getting a little bit off topic when it comes to that one now typically i do the whole fire or trash thing where we talk about resale values and everything like that but when it comes to a shoe like this honestly Yes, I just wanna hear your opinions, how you feel about the release, uh, were you able to get the shoe, all those different things. But when it comes to fire or trash and people hating on it, I don't care about all that. This shoe right here has a bigger meaning than just a sneaker. There's amazing story behind this shoe and I love that fact when it comes to the Dornbecker collection. So people can hate on it or whatever they wanna do, but at the end of the day, I please and I hope and I pray that you respect this sneaker no matter what because it's more than just a sneaker. I feel like I hear sometimes people talking bad about the Dornbecker shoes because oh, it's not the new hypest latest grip. It's not always about that all the time. Sometimes sneakers represent other things. So I just wanna kinda get that message out there because yeah, it's just, you know, we see those comments every now and then. And my bad for taking another tangent on you guys, but I love the Dornbecker collection. I love all the models. And I feel like it's okay to say which one's your favorite or not. So drop a comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. And uh, oh, wait, one second. I got something for you guys. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.
If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what was the first Dornbecker sneaker you ever purchased for your collection, or if you haven't purchased one yet, what Dornbecker sneaker would you like to add to your collection? All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in another one. I'm out.